fuck are you staring at, nigga? Little nigga, you mad. Little nigga, you mad. Little nigga, you mad. Get off your ass. Go get to a bag. Little nigga, you mad. What? That almost just hit me. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Quincy. I'm back with another video, man. And look, in today's video, bro, I think this is going to be my very first story time. But, like, who don't start their story time era with the main story? The story that everybody likes listening to. The story that everybody likes telling. And that is the story of how we all lost our virginity. All right, so look, I am not about to get into this right away. So I want to say a couple things. As y'all know, my content, I don't really show my face on my own channel. And that's because I want to get monetized. As soon as I get monetized, it's fuck the game. It's straight IRL content. As soon as I get monetized, it's over with from there. I'm saying fuck the game, no bullshit. All right. <laughs> I lost so much thought. I lost train of thought so fast. All right, so look, uh, do I want to start the video now? Anything else I got to say? Oh, yeah, this video is going to be as long as possible as I can make it. I need my watch hours. So if you really mess with me, I want y'all to stay throughout the whole video. Watch until the very end. Also, matter of fact, I'm going to make y'all watch to the very end. You see this car right here? I am going to leak this car through the video. It could be beginning just in a couple minutes through the middle or the end. Now you gotta stay throughout the whole video to watch if you want a $50 gift card. Alright, so look, this is where the, the story begins. I am in high school, a sophomore. Alright, so look, I'm 14 as a sophomore, by the way. I know you're wondering, like, how the fuck are you 14 as a sophomore? I started school hella early. So look, I am a sophomore. You know why I lost it as a sophomore? Is that because it was redemption year? So look, coming into high school as a freshman, I'm thinking, all right, look, I look good. I had a glow up over the summer from eighth grade to freshman year, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna fuck bitches. It's so many schools combined in freshman. We got sophomores, juniors, and seniors. I'm thinking so many students. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna have so many opportunities to lose it. No, like, I don't know why nobody was fucking with me freshman year. I'm thinking. I'm finna come in and my body count for to go from zero to three. Yeah, I know I said three like that was a lot, but still, it was freshman year. I'm thinking I'm finna get so many bodies. That was not the case. So, sophomore year, I'm like, it's redemption season. I'm finna fuck some shit up. I'm simple as that. That was my mentality sophomore year. Redemption, redemption, redemption. I need to lose it this year. If it wasn't this year, it was not gonna happen. So, coming into sophomore year, I was turning 15 this year, cause look, I lost this. Look, my birthday is September 24th. I lost this September 17th. That is exactly one week from my birthday, right? Exactly one week from my birthday. My birthday was a Tuesday. September 17th was a Tuesday. Exactly one week from my birthday. So I guess you can call it birthday. Yeah, you know, the birthday whoop whoop. So look, coming into a sophomore, the girl was a freshman. Yes. I, I was 14 as a sophomore. I wasn't. I didn't have no chance with upperclassmen. They asked me my age. I say 14. They, you little boy. They try to little boy me. I'm like, all right, bro, fuck you. I'm gonna go to somebody who can't little boy me. Like I said, it's redemption. I'm doing whatever I can. So freshmen, I know freshmen mentalities are like, all right, freshman female. I know freshman female mentalities are like, all right, I'm grown. I just came into high school. I'm grown now. I can do whatever I want. I want some day. So I, I'm like, all right, I, I got supply. I, I got what you need, shorty. I got what you need, shorty. So this is how I met her, right? This is how I met her. So me and my, I lived in an apartment that was like down the street from my school. I say walking distance, a little bit. It was like a 15 minute walk. So me and my homie, we walked to my apartment, right? We get there. I'm out of breath. Hold on. Me and my homie, we walk into my apartment. We get there, right? I forget my key. Now I can't do shit. I'm locked out. So I see this girl. I'm like, our age, she around our age, but we I never seen her before. I didn't even know she lived there. If I would have knew she lived there, I'm like, all right, I could have lost it freshman year if I knew she lived there. Or maybe she just moved this year. So, so many things going in my head. I'm like, if she lived here, I'm instantly on that. I'm instantly on it. Because like I said, this year, I'm fucking shit up, bro. My mentality is get, go get. All right, so look. She, uh, we locked out. I'm, so now we going to wait to see if she can get us in. So... She don't even got her key. So now all three of us just sitting out there. But I say two seconds. And then he say, y'all didn't know the door around the back be open? And I'm like, all right, shit, say less. So she's wearing these black leggings. I remember it like it was yesterday. She wearing these black leggings. So my homie pushed me aside. And like, he's just like snoozing behind her. Uh, eyeing her down, think, thinking like, he gonna get on that. I'm like, bro, 
She live here with me. I still haven't lost it. You did already. It's my time, nigga. You step aside. So look, she let us in. And now she lives on the first floor. I lived on the fourth. So the elevator is on the first floor. So she go up. I mean, she go to the left to her room. And I'm thinking like, do I make a move now or will I ever see her again? So now in my head, I'm like, do I make a move now or do I bitch out? And I'm watching her walk down to her room. I mean, yeah, her apartment. I'm walking down to her apartment, and I'm thinking, if she go in that door, it's over with. She goes in the door. And now I'm looking back at my homie. I'm like, on fourth floor. I just fucked up. That was my chance to get her snap, her IG, something. I fucked up. So I'm like, all right, I got to redeem myself. I got to find this bitch again. I got to redeem myself. So you know what I decided to do to find her again? This is what I decided to do. I walked home every day for about five days for the rest of the week, hoping she'll walk back home, walk too. I find her walk back from my school because I didn't even know if she went to my school or not because my school is, I don't, how do I explain this? My apartment is in between two high schools. So it's either she go to my high school or the other one. So I'm taking a chance at the dark. I'm taking a shot in the dark and walking home every day to see if she go to my school. She didn't walk home. So at this point, I give up. I'm like, all right, I fucked up my own chance. My only opportunity now to see her again is a miracle. We both get the mail at the same time or some shit. So I stop walking home. It's basketball practice, right? I'm after school because I go to their practices. So I'm after school, right? And me and my homie waiting for that practice to start outside in the hallway. It's a table outside the hallway. So we sitting there at the table outside in the hallway. And a cheerleader is walking by. And like, I'm on my phone, right? Just looking up, watching the one by, I'm on my phone. And as soon as I look up, I see her. And when I tell you, my whole reaction just kick started. I didn't give a fuck who looked at me by the way I was about to react. So picture this, I'm sitting down at the table. Cheers is walking by, I'm on my phone. Cheers is walking by. And immediate glance, I don't know how I recognized her so fast. Immediate glance, I must have smacked the shit on my homie chest. I'm like, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm on my, bro, y'all can't see the chair, fuck. Look, so look, I'm at, I'm at the table, I'm like, there she go. And, bro, I must have said that shit out loud, and so many people turned around. I must have turned my head so damn fast, bro. I turned my shit so damn fast, bro. I made a scene. It was like, I, I won at life. So, this is what I decided to do, because I wasn't going to get her snap while she at practice. Like, nah. So, this is what I decided to do. I decided to walk home from practice. I decided to walk home from practice and hopefully she didn't get picked up. So I'm walking, practice over, practice ended at like seven. I don't know what time the cheerleader practice ended. So I hope they ended at the same time. So I'm waiting outside the school for a little bit. I'm acting like I'm waiting for a ride, but I'm really waiting on her to see if she'll walk with, walk today. So she don't come outside. So now I'm walking home by myself, lonely and disappointed. Like, damn, I failed once again. So I finally get home. I go upstairs in my apartment, my apartment room. I'm just sitting on my balcony reminiscing like, damn, I'm a bitch. I'm a failure. And as soon as I start thinking that, a miracle come again. I must have seen her down the street. She was wearing some neon green shirt, like the chili practice shirt. I must have seen her down the street. And I... When I tell you this had to be the most down bad shit I ever did, I jetted downstairs on some thirsty shit, bro. I jetted downstairs, acted like I was getting my mail, but really, I knew she didn't have a key, so I was gonna let her in as a coincidence. Like, oh, I was getting the mail, you trying to come in. You, so I was gonna let her in. So while I'm getting the mail, I locked myself out. So now, I'm just sitting there by myself, locked out of my apartment, because my mom was at work. So I'm just locked out. Now she come in. We both just locked out. So an old lady let us in, right? And we both side by side. The old lady in front of us letting us in. So I'm like, my heart beating fast as fuck. I'm like, do I ask for it? Now what do I do? It's redemption. So we get inside. The old lady let us in. And she look at me. And she like, you smell that? And I guess she tried to crack a joke about the old lady smelling and shit. It wasn't funny. It wasn't a funny ass joke. But you know, I... I did the fake ass laugh. So I laughed at the lame ass joke. 
And that's when I'm like, all right, she friendly. So now here's the time. So when I tell you I must have thought I was that nigga when I did this shit, bro, this is exactly what happened, bro. This is exactly what happened. I finished laughing at a joke. I'm like, <laughs> I swear to God, just like that. I had Snap already open, because remember, I was coming downstairs, so I already had Snap open on the ad friend list. So while I'm laughing, I'm pulling out my phone, I'm like, huh, 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 And then she take it, and she put her shit in. She put her username in, and she handed it back to me. And now I'm thinking, like, it's a go. We both live at the same place. We just gotta wait for one of us to have OT. If y'all don't know OT, me is basically home alone. So we just gotta wait for one of us to have OT. So I started texting her a little bit, getting to know her, getting to know her. So I started texting her, getting to know her, right? And when I get to know her, I say I was texting her for about three days. I get to know her, and I'm like, "All right, we both live in the same place. You trying to like vibe, come over sometimes?" She say, "I got a boyfriend." Mm. And at that moment when she said that, my body and mind was like, fuck that nigga. Simple as that. It was as simple as that. My body and mind is like, did I ask? Did I ask? I said, are you trying to come over? And she's like, all right, I got a boyfriend. So I stopped texting her for the rest of that night. I came back to school, right? So now I know she go to my school. So I was gonna try and see her in school. So I came back to school, and my one of my classes are in the freshman hallway, so I had to go to the freshman hallway, right? And I see her at her locker, but with a nigga behind her. And, like, she at her locker like this, and her nigga is behind her with his hands around her. And I'm like, damn, she really do got a nigga. That wasn't a lie. And when I see who her nigga was, it was a nigga I knew. But that wasn't stopping me. It wasn't stopping me. So... I see her, uh, fast forward, September 17th, the day it happened. So, I see her. Where do I see her at? Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, we're walking home. She didn't have practice. So, now she didn't have practice, so I'm walking home with her uh, around 3.30. That's the time we got to school. So, I'm walking home with her, right? And remember how, I, this is what happened. So, every month of September on a Tuesday, I will bust a fit every Tuesday. I dress nice, hella good every Tuesday because leading up to my birthday. So, September 17th was a Tuesday, so I got a fit on. I got a nice little decent fit on. And I asked her, I'm like, you trying to take some pictures for me? And when I tell you, I don't know how this worked, bro. I don't know how this worked. Because when I asked, because she's trying to take the pictures, we was outside. So I'm thinking, I hope she don't think I'm talking about outside. So she said, yeah, when? I'm like, at my house on my balcony. That shit was cold as hell, because that's to get her inside. That shit was raw as hell. So I tell her, can you take some pictures on my balcony? She said, all right. So we finally get to the apartment. I have my key. I let us in, right? We at the elevator. And she go to her room. And I'm like, what about the pictures? And she say, hold on. I got to get ready. And at this point, I'm like, oh, I know what you're getting ready for. I'm like, she's going to shave, take a shower. Change into the sneaky link, clothing, attire. Simple as that. I knew what it was at that point. I knew what it was at that point. Just at that point, I knew what it was. I'm like, she knows about that. So, but then, and one, one thought in my head, I'm like, damn, what if she just take these pictures of me? So, here's where the title says video included. I have a video of this. So, I'm chilling in my room. I'm, I still got my clothes on. And, like, she hasn't came. I say it's around, like, 4 15. She hasn't texted me, haven't came. So, I'm thinking, like, all right, this bitch just sent me off. And when I start thinking that, I hear I hear a, bing, a text that say, what's your room number? And I said, when I tell you, I pick up my phone, send my room number so fucking fast. I don't even think the, the message got delivered yet. I saw a typing and my Bitmoji already popped up. Yes, I was that eager. So look, send her my room number. And this is the video I'm talking about. I hear, do, 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 do. I look through the peephole. It's her. And I let her in. And I'm like, you can take your shoes off at the door. Because I'm like, you staying. Once you in, you staying. You're not going to take these pictures in there. So, 
What's the crazy part about it is she didn't even mention the pictures when she came in. She went straight to my room and made herself comfortable. First off, I don't even know how she knew what's wrong with my room. That shit kind of freaked me out. I still don't know how to this day. Like, she went straight to my room. I didn't know how she knew what's wrong with my room. So, and the crazy part is I shared a room with my sister, and it looked like my sister room. So, I didn't know how she knew which one it was mine. So, she goes straight to my room, make herself comfortable. And in my head, I'm like, don't mention the pictures. Don't mention the pictures. But I mentioned the pictures. Because I still got my clothes on. I'm not going to, like, take my shit off. And then she'd be like, what about the picture? And I'd be like, fuck the pictures. You already made yourself comfortable. So I said, all right, so you want to take the pictures now or later? And she said, we can do it now and get it out the way. And I'm like, get out the way? You must want to stay. So uh, we go on my balcony. I promise you, I didn't even push the blinds back. I jetted through the blinds, got on the balcony. Uh, I did some ugly ass poses. The pictures was fucking terrible. I was too eager. I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't even pose correctly. The bitch was making me nervous. Holding the phone, staring at me. I was nervous as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. So, after the pictures, I'm thinking this is the make or break. After the pictures, it's either she leave or she stay. She walked back. My room is on the left. The door is on the right. It's like, did she go left or right? The motherfucker went left. I'm like, yes, sir, nigga. I'm like, we in this, nigga. I'm like, we in this. So she go left back into my room. And I'm like, what you trying to do? She said, hand me the controller. She go to Netflix. I don't know how she knew how to work an Xbox controller. I guess she was used to getting fucked. But anyways, uh, she went to Netflix. She put on some weak ass 13 Reasons Why. I wasn't watching that shit. I'm not gonna lie, she was dead ass watching that. That's when I'm like, all right, uh, do did I fuck up somewhere? So she's dead ass watching it. So uh, I'm up on my bed, like right there on the pillow, and she's like on the edge, like this, watching it. So I tap her. I'm like, what you trying to do? She say, what you mean? I'm like, come here. She say, she come up to me. We both. Side by side, next to each other, looking each other at her. I'm like, I grab her arm and I'm like, get on top of me. I don't know why I knew what to do, cause like at this point, I pro bro, I don't know why I was so experienced, but I was experienced about the way I was saying, but I wasn't experienced about the way I was doing it. You get what I'm saying? Like I was like. I had so many homies that already lost their shit and they was telling me stories. So I was just like trying to recreate what they was doing, what they were saying. So I'm like, all right, get on top of me. She get on top of me. And I'm in jeans. So I'm like, I can't feel shit. So, and she in leggings. So I know she can't feel shit either. So I'm gonna fucking my deep soft or not. She couldn't feel it. So I'm in jeans, right? And then while she on top of me, her hands are on my waist and she said, now what? And I'm like, shit, what do I say now? And I took a motherfucking shot in the dark and said, you trying to give me, you trying to give me, and she said, you got to do it to me first. Oh, he and needs at this some point, milk. I'm like, if this what it takes to lose it, I'm down. I'm down. And I'll tell you, this was the last time I ever done it in my life. The last time I ever ate cookie in my life was this day. Never again. This was the one in time only and the only acceptable time. Y'all gotta y'all gotta understand. It's to lose my virginity, bro. I was down to do anything. If she told me to eat her ass, I was eating her ass. I'm not nah, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. So look, she said you gotta do it first. So I ain't gonna lie. For like 45 seconds, I ain't gonna lie, I did for like 45 seconds type of shit. I come up, I wipe my face. I don't know how I knew what the fuck I was doing, bro. And she said, she looked me in my eye and said, you just went crazy. So I'm thinking, all right, she told me to do it first. Did she just rob me in my head? And now she said, all right, lay on your back. I'm like, it's about that time. This is not my first, this wasn't my first time getting hit either. I'm gonna do a story time on that too. This was one of my first time eating coochie either. I'm gonna do a story time on that. Don't think I was eating coochie for fun, bro. If you want another story time, matter of fact, get this video to 30 likes. I got y'all a story time of my first time giving and give, getting hit. Giving and getting hit. They they are two in one. It was the first time for both. So, she told me to lay on my back, right? And now, 
when I tell you I felt like this and that nigga when this happened, she tell me to lay on my back. She unbuckle my jeans, take my jeans down. Now it's to my drawers. You can see my print, right? And when I tell you, bro, I'm going to say it again. I felt like that nigga when this happened. She pulled my shit down and said, whoa. I'm 14. My shit wasn't even that big. The bitch said, whoa. And I'm like, you like it? I'm like, you like it? You like it? So look, she said, whoa. And I try not to smile. I'm like, yeah. That's all me. So, she, she started giving me the go, go, that shit was ass. That shit was so fucking trash, my nigga. I'm not gonna lie. The bitch used all throat, no, no mouth, no spit, no sound effects, just all throat. Bro, the shit was trash, bro. Two out of ten. I'm not gonna lie. So, I say she giving it from like ten minutes. I mean, two minutes. Damn, ten minutes? Well, two minutes. I'm thinking like, all right, maybe it's gonna get better it did not get fucking better. It didn't get better. So after two minutes, I'm like, all right. You can just let me hit it from the back. Because at this point, I'm just asking shit. Because I'm like, all right, she down for anything. No, 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 no. This not, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. I said, all right, you can get on back on top. I'm like, all right, the bitch going to ride my shit now. The bitch going to ride my shit now. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to lose my virginity to fucking the ride. And I'm like, all right. The bitch told me. No, before I said that, she came back up. She like. I just, bro, the bitch has so much spit coming from her mouth, and I didn't feel none of that shit. I didn't feel none of that shit. I'm like, why are you out of breath? You didn't do nothing. So I'm like, all right, you can get back on top. She said, you're going to have to hit it from the back. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't give a fuck where I, where I fucked her from. But I preferred on the top. I didn't give a fuck where I fucked her from. So she said, you're going to have to hit it from the back. So now her face is like in the pillow looking at the wall. This is exactly how the bed, this is not the room I lost it in, but this is how it, like, it was set up. So she's looking at the wall that way, arched up. And I'm behind her, right? Pull my shit down to my knees. I slip it in. Bro, I slip it in. I'm like, I hear, in my mind, I'm like, this bitch just farted on my dick. I'm like, this bitch just farted on my dick. And you know what I did? I didn't stop. Because I didn't care. I wouldn't give a fuck if the bitch shitted on my dick, bro. I was that down bad to lose it, bro. I, I didn't give a fuck. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it still farted. Because I didn't know what coochie could fart. So I'm like, all right, this is her ass just farting to me. And I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care. So why this bitch is farting on my shit, bro? I think I ain't gonna lie, she like queefed like twice. I, I thought she farted on my shit, I didn't give a fuck. And when I tell you, bro, my phone was next to me. And I'm thinking, in my mind, I'm just looking at my phone, I'm like, do I grab it now? Do I grab it? What did she turn around? Do I grab it? I didn't grab it. But I did last for like, three minutes and don't think I say lasted for three minutes thinking I nutted I didn't nut you know what happened I pulled it out because in my head I got a reality check thinking this is my first time what if I nutted this bitch so I pull out without nutting thinking of pre-cum bro I ain't gonna lie I thought pre-cum was gonna get her pregnant I saw like it's like a 3% chance of pre-cum getting the bitch pregnant after I lost my shit and when I read that my whole heart was like why did I pull out? I could have lasted for a good eight more minutes. I had it in me. So I thought. So I pull out, pull my shit up. I don't say a word. I'm not gonna lie. Her ass is still out. She probably thinking like, I just took a breather. So like, I pull my pants up. Her ass is still looking at me. I say for a good 20 seconds until she actually turn around. Like, what you doing? I'm like, we done. And she put her shit back up. And now we just sitting back watching the TV. And I'm thinking like, do I have to be for round two? And I check the time. And I'm like, damn, my mom is on the way. So, I tell her it's about that time you got to go. She had no problem with me telling her to leave. But remember that I said I only lasted for three minutes because I thought about getting the bitch pregnant. So, remember that was September 17th. In my head, I'm like, I just fucked up my one and only chance to lose my virginity. But don't, don't get me wrong. I fucked her again. Again. 
Oh, and I forgot to remind y'all, remember? She has a boyfriend. I found her when she had a boyfriend. I for y'all didn't y'all didn't y'all forgot that part, didn't y'all? Y'all forgot that part where I said she had a boyfriend. Yes, I bought her when she had a boyfriend. Cause I'm that nigga. Straight like that. But look. I fucked her twice and she had a boyfriend both times. I'm gonna give y'all a story time on how I fucked her again. And that part, that story time is November. I'm gonna give y'all a story time on how I fucked her. September and November. Get a video of 30 likes, man. I'll give y'all a story time. About the second time I hit. Because, you know, three minutes wasn't enough. I had to get my redemption. I had to get my redemption. I'm all about redemption. So, this is how I say you gotta, it's about that time you gotta go. So, this is exactly what happened, right? I wanna show y'all my door. I let her out, right? Damn. I let her out. She gave me a hug. I closed the door, right? She gave me a hug. She's on the other side of the door now. I look through the people. I see her walking down back to the elevator. Well, I see her walk down to the elevator. I take two steps back from my door. One, two. Take a deep breath in. Pull out my phone. Do, 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 do. FaceTime my homie. Waiting for this nigga to answer. And I'm like, I just fucking did it, nigga. I'm just fucking did it, nigga. I did it, nigga. I did it, nigga. Stop fucking playing with me. Stop playing with me. Straight like that. Straight like that. When I tell you every emotion, from when I was a little kid, 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 from my body shot out my mouth. I was saying what I was thinking. I didn't give a fuck if I said it too loud. I didn't give a fuck if the bitch came back to the door. Like, you telling people how to not open the door, say, yes, bitch. Close that bitch back in her face. I didn't give a fuck. I was feeling joy, bro. Cause when I tell you, I forgot to mention how it felt too. So when I first put it in, I ain't gonna lie. That bitch felt like. That's pretty much what it felt like. So fast forward a little bit. I'm on the phone with him jumping up and down, telling him I did it. Cause I had told him I was gonna try and do it. And he slight believed in me, I ain't gonna lie, he slight believed in me. And I did it, mission accomplished, nigga. Success. Mission accomplished. So, he like, you did it? And yeah, I'm like, I'm talking my shit. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I did it. Y'all can't say shit in a party no more. Call me a virgin. Bro, when I tell you, every time I joined the party, all I heard was, virgin join, virgin join. I'm like, bro, it ain't no more. You can't say that no more. So, I tell him, I did it. Turn, throw my phone, hang up, throw my phone. I'm walking back to my room. Uh, 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 uh. Bro, I'm walking back to my room. Happy as hell. Mission accomplished. But I'm still like, fuck, I only did three minutes. Remember, redemption. I got part two on her ass. Hit her ass, called her back up. I'm thinking, all right. It's about time. She still got a boyfriend? Yeah, she still got a boyfriend. That one stopping me. Part two. Hit her again in November. I'm telling you, story time on that too. It's raw as hell. 30 likes for the story time on that too. And story on time on like first time giving and getting hit. So, I'm not going to lie. That's the end of the story time, bro. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all, hope I explained this well for y'all to have a visual paralysis, a visual presentation in your head on how this went for me. Leave out, leave some uh, story times in the comments for what y'all want me to do. Some, uh, yeah, some story time, other top, some other story time topics y'all want me to do in the comments. The funniest part of this story time and how y'all story time went in the comments. So, without further ado, I want to remind y'all to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Y'all know what? Cause we out.